Um, so I like to start with a story called Sometimes You're a Caterpillar. So in the garden, there lived a caterpillar and a snail. They were the very best of friends. They did everything together. They ate leaves. They watched Netflix. They uh, wrote fan fiction. They did cosplay. All of your normal snail and caterpillar stuff. One day, they decided to go to a party on the other side of the garden, and they had to go under a fence in order to get to the party. So the caterpillar went under the fence no problem, but the snail could not fit because of her shell. And the caterpillar was getting really annoyed. He's like, listen, I want to get to this party because there's a really cute ladybug that I'm trying to hook up with. Can you please just get under the fence? And the snail is having a really hard time, and she's frustrated because it's not like she's not trying to get under the fence. She just can't get under because of her shell. And she says, listen, it's just really hard for me. I have a shell and you don't. And that means that it's harder for me to get under the fence. So maybe we can find a different way around, or maybe you can help me build a bridge. Together we can figure this out because I really want to go to the party too. I don't know why she talks like that. It's very hard in my voice, it would make the story a lot easier if she had a, a better way of speaking. Um, and the caterpillar was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you, are you suggesting that my life is not hard? Do you know what it's like to have 16 feet? You don't, okay? Have you ever tried to buy shoes for 16 feet? You haven't. My, I have challenges and struggles. And, the, the, <laughs> I, didn't, I thought he was done. <laughs> you, you done, bro? Okay, thank you. But was like, oh, no, no, listen, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that I have a shell and you don't. And so that means things are different. For, I don't know what it's like to have 16. I don't even have feet. <laughs> okay, just think about where I'm coming from here. That's all I'm saying. And the caterpillar thought for a second and he realized, She's right. I've never had to think about having a shell or having a, a slimy trail everywhere I go. And those are things that, caterpillar, or that snails have to think about all of the time because that's part of being a snail. And here's the thing. It's like that for all of us, right? We are all so different. Our experiences are completely unique. I don't know what it's like to be you. You don't know what it's like to be me. And our challenges are not always self-imposed. Sometimes they come from the world around us. Maybe you are LGBT, maybe you're someone with a disability, you have a different religion, uh, you have a different gender presentation, you speak another language, or the obvious one, you are a member of a different race from the people that are around you. So it's really important that we think about those things that make us different so that we can understand each other and work together because sometimes you're the caterpillar and sometimes you're the snail. So the caterpillar and the snail decided that they, if they would go around the fence, they could find a spot that they could get to the party together. So uh, the caterpillar <laughs> was able to hook up with that fine-ass ladybug. <laughs> she is hot. Her eyelashes are popping. Um, and, and the snail taught everyone to do the wobble, and they had an amazing time. The end.